for the last card, I decided to make a slimline card. And if you're not sure what a slimline card it is, card is, it's this style of card, right? So it's standard to kind of fits into like a normal like business envelope, but you can make your cards very fun for doing the slimline kind of format. So I'm going to show you about doing that today. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to first off, we have this feather stamp. This is the full feather stamp, and you can see how it's a little bit iridescent with the gold. We stamped it in the black Versifying Claire, and then while the ink was drying, then we brushed on the Perlex powder. This is the second week in a row, or second class in a row I've done that kind of technique with, um, and I am so pleased with how this came together. I just absolutely love it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mount this onto the gold, and that's just going to bring out the gold in that card. So I just love the gold on those feathers. Okay, and again, this just kind of lands a little bit more elegant. I just really, really like this card. It's just, oh my gosh, the stamp is so beautiful. I'm so pleased with how this came together. We're going to put some double-sided tape on the back side of this dark brown and stick that in place here. And it's going to go edge to edge of the feather paper. And I'm leaving about, oh, I would say maybe about an inch and a half um, on the right hand side or on one side of, um, of the dark brown. So that way you can still see the feathers on the bottom. Then we're going to put on this beautiful textured paper. My friend Jay said, oh, this kind of looks a little bit like a couch. And I would have to agree the texture is kind of interesting. And we're going to lay that on here on the right. And there's going to have a little bit of the, um, it's going to go all the way up into the gold so that the gold goes all the way around, but the brown is only on the feather paper itself. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some double-sided tape on the back side of this, on the left and right, and we're going to stick on this beautiful mesh ribbon, and we're going to line that up um, on the gold so that it lands right in the middle, and then we're going to wrap this around to the double-sided tape on the back. All right, and that's just going to stick in place. And we're going to put some double-sided tape on top of that mesh ribbon again. And now we have this beautiful bird um, ribbon, and that's going to go right in the middle. Again, stick that to the back side where that double-sided tape is. Put more double-sided tape over that, but now we're going to go double-sided tape all the way around. Whoops! Running out of tape here. Not a problem. We're just going to move into my double-sided tape that... I use when I'm out of my other stuff, which is my second favorite double-sided tape. My first favorite, of course, is using this tool because it's so convenient. Stick that down here and here. All right. Once you have your double-sided tape down, you're going to flip this over and mount this onto the front of your card. And there we have that. Oops, and I just now realized I need to grab one more piece. I won't forget for your packet, but we need to have a light beige for the inside of the card. So we'll go ahead and stick some double-sided tape on that. Not with that, because I'm out of tape on that. And we'll stick this on the inside. And about an eighth of an inch on all four sides. And then you'll also notice in your packet that you have a brown envelope. And hopefully you were able to do this. And if not, then you're welcome to come back and do it. But we have the, um, I stamped out the um, feather stamp again, only on the edge of the envelope and then brushed on Perlex powder so that we get that beautiful gold that mix in with the slimline card. Isn't that beautiful? Again, this could be a really easy birthday card with sympathy card. It's just such a nice format and then you can stamp something on the inside. It was my plan to make it go this direction because of the birds flying. I know the one of them will be upside down because the this in this case my darker birds are flying the right direction if you have it this way it kind of looks like the birds are just flying straight up but of course it would be that would absolutely work it kind of depends on what sentiment you're using and if your sentiment goes this way or if you want your sentiment to go a long ways either way i am super pleased with this card it's just absolutely gorgeous and of course it fits really nicely into a slim line envelope so now you know the world of slim line cards all right you guys i hope you had lots of fun at today's class I will see you all next time.
enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you learned something, had a good time. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.